Okay, so last week it was a cheerleader smackdown that got your attention. What's the problem this time? Well, haven't you noticed, haven't you been watching? Three violent events in one week. You got the third graders plotting to murder their teacher. You've got the cheerleader smackdown and oh, to cap off the week, what do we have now? But teacher assaulted in Maryland. What else are we going to wait for? Look, we've always had these problems. Kids beating up other kids. It's been going on since Cain and Abel. It's not just kids beating on other kids and it's getting worse. This is now kids that are starting to beat up on grown-ups. This is kids that are beating up on what would normally have been an authority figure, somebody who was untouchable, a teacher. And it's happening at earlier early ages and it's happening more and more often. So, you know, what are you going to do about it? I mean, we already have any bullying programs in the schools. Well, okay, so we're spending billions of dollars annually because there are federally mandated bullying problems, yet the problems not only continue, but they're increasing both in severity and number. Well, why is that? Well, it, 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 for whatever reason, they're not working. They're not as effective as they should be. They're not focusing on the problem in the right way. And if, if the billions of dollars we've been spending doesn't prove it to us, then why don't we take a look at what's been happening this last week? Well, to be honest, the problem with anti-bullying programs are mostly that they're focusing on mitigating, minimizing a problem that already exists, not preventing it in the first place. And quite frankly, the issue of social skills education is a lot broader than just minimizing a bullying problem. There's a whole spectrum of soft skills, of character education, of all those aspects of interpersonal relationships that's completely missed. Why is that important? Well, the studies will show you over and over again that social skills in our children is the most important factor in their future success. It's more important than, than their academic achievement. It's more important than their who they know. It's more important than their social economic background. Frankly, it also shows that it's much more important than all those things together. And it, even so, and it, 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 having good social skills, being able to get along with people, will make all those things a whole lot better to achieve and a whole lot easier to achieve. All right, but you're talking about skills that ought to be taught at home. This is the parents' responsibility. Why are we trying to teach it in schools? Why do we expect the schools to teach things like that? Look, I don't think anybody is denying that the parents should be the ones or the primary caregivers are the ones who should be teaching it at home, and there are a lot of parents who do. But for a, a myriad of reasons, some of which we covered in an earlier video from last week on YouTube, our children are not coming equipped with the social survival skills that they need in order to be successful. Why don't more schools have this program then? I think it essentially comes down to two problems. The first one is awareness. Most schools don't understand the importance and the necessity of these critical life skills for their, their students. They're focused on academic achievement. What they don't realize is without discipline in the classroom, you cannot achieve academically. And frankly, the second uh, major problem is they believe they can't afford it. But when you take a look at the hard numbers, the statistics, and I encourage anybody to do so, use your own numbers from your own schools, what you find is if, if teachers in the classroom are losing 20, 30, 40 percent of active teaching time to discipline and behavior management, then that's costing an average school sometimes up to a million dollars a year just for that one school. So you mean to tell me that schools can't afford it? Well, that's what they believe. But to be honest, schools are already suffering. They're already paying for the lack of adequate social skills in students through discipline issues, through behavior management, through lost productivity, through academic lack of achievement. Face it, it's already costing them not money. It's not a matter of can they afford to do it. It's a matter of they can't afford not to bring social skills education in and improve the situation. Look, this can't be the only solution out there. Why yours? Well, you're right, it's not the only solution out there, but I can tell you what isn't the solution. The Baltimore Sun just suggested yesterday that the solution to teachers being assaulted in the classroom is to give them crisis training so they can manage the assault when it occurs. Nobody's talking prevention. That's where our program comes in. Well, look, someone's going to say that this isn't about solutions, that you've got some sort of an agenda. Well, you know what? You're darn right I have an agenda. I have a very, very big agenda. My agenda is to make the classrooms, our society, safer for my child, for their children, for their grandchildren, for all children, so that these kids don't become a statistic ongoing. We've got to take control of this crisis. All right. So someone out there is going to want more information. How do they go about getting it? 
Well, if they want information on our program, they can find it on our website. They can go to socialsmarts.com or politechild.com. I'm sure there are other solutions out there, and I encourage anybody who can find an effective solution such as ours to go ahead and explore that, because it, whatever solution they use, they need one. Okay, well, maybe the solution for now is for you not to be watching the TV anymore because all it's going to happen is it's just going to irritate you. And you know tonight there's going to be one more story about the cheerleader smackdown or the teacher assault, and all you're going to do is get into a funk. I can't help but get into a funk. Our, our schools, our teachers, our communities, our children, they're, they're in crisis, and nobody seems to li listen to that yet. Nobody. We've got to get that message heard. Well, um... Hopefully somebody will watch this video and pass it on. I encourage them to do so.